This video is going to show you how to find the line of best fit on your TI graphing calculator. So, I'm going to have some data on a graph, and I got in this case three points for my example, and I have a y axis and an x axis. So, I have my table over here of x values and y values. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this table in basically a column that's like on a spreadsheet, except it's called a list on a calculator. So, I'm going to put the x data into L1 and the y data into L2. So, those are the two lists I'm going to put it in, and then I'm going to find the line of best fit between the two lists. So here's how it works. To start with, I'm going to press the stat button down here. So this is the third column, second row. Press stat, and I can see on the screen all the choices. I'm going to choose the one that says edit. It's the first choice. Now just as an aside, if you mess up something, you go down here to 5 and you hit the setup editor. So if you cannot find something, select number 5, hit setup editor, and press enter again, and that will reset all your lists. But for right now, I'm going to choose choice number 1, which is the edit menu. So edit selected, I'm going to press the enter key, which you can't see me doing. So it automatically pops into list number one, and I'm going to write the information that's on my card. So the data was one, two, and three. I'll type in one, press the enter key, two, press the enter key, three, press the enter key. So now on my list, I've got my data one, two, and three. Next, I've got my Y2 information, so I'm going to use the arrow keys to move to the right, and there it goes right in the empty cell. And my Y data was two, four, and five. So I'm going to press two, enter key, four, the enter key, five, and the enter key. Now I'm all set up. This is all my X values, and in the L2, that's going to be all my Y values. It's important you get them in the right column. So to find the line of best fit, I'm going to press the Stat button again. But this time at the top of the screen, it says Edit. I want to go over to where it says Calculate. So I'm going to use the arrow keys in my calculator to go to the right. And I'm going to go down to Choice number 4. Choice number 4, and I'll press the Enter key. Now, since I have everything in L1 and L2, that's kind of the default. I don't need to do anything else but press the Enter key one more time. Now this is a line of best fit for my linear regression. I have y is equal to ax plus b, so it's not mx, but ax plus b. a is 1.5, and that's going to be the slope. b is the y-intercept, and that's 0.66666667. And r squared and r, you don't need to worry about. Your calculator may show this, or it may not show it. If your calculator operating system has been updated, your screen will look a little bit differently, but it will still contain the same top three lines of information with y is equal to ax plus b, a, the slope, is 1.5, and, and b, the y-intercept, will still be seen as well.